Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna break down how I went from simple cube into building this. So let's get right into it. The first thing I opened up Blender and started building the land. Scale it on the X and the Y axis. On the shading tab adding the sand texture. Changing the sky's color by playing with the strength of the background node to give it more like nowhere vibe duplicating the cubes to give the environment more realistic feeling then i moved to build courage's house by first building the ground of the house then the table and the door i extruded the faces and inset the face by pressing on the i keyword adding the fences to the door and setting the appropriate colors for it also setting up colors for the table by using a sphere, cylinder and the cube, I built the chairs. I added the cube to make one of the walls. Adding a wood texture to the ground of the house. I added the cylinder to make the clock. I'm trying to make the kitchen the same as it looked from the show. Adding a temporary color for the wall. I started making the window and the curtains by using Blender's sculpting tools. Duplicate the curtains and change the design and the rotation of it, making the phone and the oven and creating some kitchen gadgets like the spatula. Duplicating the same window and continue structuring the kitchen. I added a cube to make the fridge, scale it, added a loop cut to it, extrude the faces. I also added another cube to make the fridge's handle added the appropriate colors to it, duplicated and rotated downwards. I continued the structure of the wall by adding loop cuts, extrude the faces. I added another cube to make a new door. A sphere, cylinder and cube to make the handle of the door. Added a cube to make the roof, set the appropriate color to it. And we finished structuring our kitchen. The time has come to build the living room. Duplicated the already made window from the kitchen, changed the colors of it to green, added the cube to make the TV, I made the chair that Eustace sits on. Then I made Muriel's chair by adding cylinders, cubes and two spheres, added the cube to make the base, subdivided to play with its shape, set the appropriate color, duplicated to the other side. Then I made the lamp and the clock. I added the cylinder and put the carpet texture on it. We're getting closer to finish our living room. Added the cube to make the wall, duplicate the window, scale, loop cut, extrude the face, duplicate the door from the kitchen and put it in the right place. Change the color of the door's border to dark green and the door to light green, duplicating the window to the other side Continue the same process of adding loop cuts and extruding the faces. The time has come to add the texture to the walls. I used GIMP to make this texture with its components of flowers. I tried my best to make it exactly the same as Courage's house with its color and everything. I imported the texture to Blender, open the UV editing tab, select the faces, smart UV project and unwrap them. Repeated the same process to the other walls and scale the texture as much as it should be. After finishing the living room, 
The time has come to do the same process for the kitchen. Everything is looking great in the shading mode. First, I start from the left side of the walls, select the faces, smart UV project and unwrap, scale the faces on the texture to make the flowers small, repeat the same process for the other walls, Now the kitchen started to look exactly like the show. And finally, we finished our kitchen. And it looks pretty amazing. Back to the living room, I started to construct the stairs and choose the right colors for it. To make the stairs, I added the cube and continue building onto it. In the shading tab, I added the color ramp to the ground's texture and make it darker. I selected this face only from the stairs and put the same material as the one I chose for the walls. Unwrap it and scale the face on the texture. I added the cube to make the roof, extrude the face and Choose the right color, then I made the guard rail by adding a cylinder, scale it and duplicate them to the rest. And finally, we finished the living room. I didn't expect that the outcome would be very similar to the show. Wait, what was that? Never mind, let's continue. I noticed that the picture cover needed a little adjustment, so I fixed the scale and the position. The time has come to build outside of the house. Add the wood texture, select the face, unwrap it. Repeat the same process with the other faces. Select the faces, smart UV project, unwrap and continue with the rest. Then I added the cube to make this part of the floor, added a new wood texture to it, unwrap each face. Then I added the cube to make the stairs, scale it, build the column, duplicate it to the other side. On this floor texture, I added the color ramp to make the texture darker. On the back of the house, I added the cube and add on it a rock texture. After I finished these two, I added another cube to make the basement gate, grab the edge and pull it downwards and repeat the same process of adding a texture and unwrap the faces. After that, I added the cube and mirrored it to make the upper roof. Again, I added another cube, scaled it to fit in. I duplicate the windows and position them correctly. Continue constructing the house. Match both sides of the roof together by grabbing their edges. Extrude the faces on the side of the roof to make it more realistic. Added the same wood texture as the ones below and repeated the same process of unwrapping. Then I added a different wood texture to the roof I added a bunch of cylinders and a cone to make those pipes, choose the appropriate color, check it in the rendered mode, it looks great, then I made the mill by adding a lot of cylinders to make the base, color the objects, and finally we finished the environment. I added an area light, scaled it to give brightness to the living room. The view in the render mode looks amazing. This was Cycles. Now let's change it to EV and take a final tour outside and inside the house.
it was time to make courage. I started by blocking out the shape of the character, subdivide the objects, added loop cuts and scaled them. Then I started to sculpt the character. I added the nose, the ears, the mustaches, the eyes and the eyebrows. And after a lot of work, the sculpting phase has been finished. Then I moved on to mark the seams of the character and unwrap it. After finishing the UV unwrapping of the whole character, the time has come to paint it. On the texture paint tab, we created the texture to paint our character on it using the brush and the bucket tools. The process of UV unwrapping the whole character was so important because look at the texture. If we didn't do it correctly, when we paint, the colors may intersect with each other. Viewing the character in the render mode. Now, the animation phase. I added the bones, extruded to the head, arms and the legs. Then I selected the character, automatic weights. This will connect the character with the armature. With automatic weights, an issue may arise and you can fix it with weight painting that a certain bone will only affect the highlighted area. Then I added the inverse kinematics constraint to make the control of the character arms more easier. I made three animations, either which only looks around walking and jumping. Then I imported my environment into Unity's game engine, imported the character, scaled it, adjust the camera's position and the angle, I added a capsule collider to the character and the rigid body, created a C sharp script called it player. and created another script called it player movement those scripts to control the character's movement in third person then I made a script for the camera to follow the player and we can use the camera to rotate around the player and zoom in and zoom out on the animator tab the time has come to add the animations we made in blender the default one is the idol which is orange, made transitions between them, added conditions to the transitions to state when the animation is gonna play. After all of this, finally, let's play the game. The game works perfectly. Now, let's try it out in the dark mode.
With these settings, it looks much cooler. Wait, who is that? Is that who I think it is? He's not even supposed to be here. Oh no.